hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we are going to see the complete step by step registration process for registering for tcs nqt examination in this video i will be guiding you through from starting till the end and i will also give you some tips and tricks so that you don't ma make any mistakes while registering for tcs nqt make sure that you watch the video till complete end so that you don't miss on any important information also if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you also there is a complete playlist on tcs nqt that i am creating on my channel where i am posting videos regularly so for your better preparation of your nqt exam make sure to check this playlist too so let's get started with today's video so guys let's start with the eligibility criteria first of all so first of all we'll see the academic criteria that we need to follow see if you have done undergraduate or postgraduate and diploma students then you are eligible students with any degree and specialization like btech be mtech me mca msc or ms you are eligible for this one okay what is the batches uh, criteria so batches which will pass out this year so they are eligible for this drive okay only those batches what is the backlog criteria one active backlog is allowed at the time of appearing for the examination percentage criteria is 60 percent throughout in 10th 12th ug diploma and postgraduate education gap mentioned is overall gap in academic career not to exceed two years okay hope now the uh, eligibility criteria is cleared let's now move on to the, quickly look at the package scale that the company is providing so for ninja if you have done undergraduation you will get 3.36 lpa and if you have done post graduation you will get 3.53 lpa for digital for ug you will have 7 lpa and for pg you will have 7.3 lpa similarly for the prime you will for ug you will have 9 lpa and for pg you will get 11.5 lpa moving on let's understand the important dates when your test will uh, happen after the registration so in 15 to 20 days after your registration you will have your test uh, and about the test test will be physical that is in center you have to go and appear for the test depending on the marks obtained you are shortlisted for different profiles like ninja digital or prime okay okay now let's understand the registration steps so step one is you need to uh, you will get the link okay uh, for the registration you have to click on that it will redirect to the tcs next step portal you need to click on register link okay like register now button next up you have to select the category on this slide you will get two options to select amongst the two options given you will have to select your it as the option okay once selected you have to enter your email id enter email id with which you want to proceed further make sure it is your valid gmail id and you have access to this email id because all the further notification from examination so and if you get selected interviews offer letter everything will happen on this email id only so make sure that you give a proper email id which is valid and you are using it once you fill the email id you have to click on get otp option so enter otp that you will that was sent to your email id okay and uh, copy and one more thing copy and paste is not allowed okay so you need to enter the otp manually so make sure to do it and there is also a timer so you need to do within five minutes or so okay so once you have entered the otp click on submit so once uh, you submit it you will have to enter your basic details enter the last four digits of your aadhar card name and date of birth okay so see in this way you have to enter name aadhar card last four digits and all these details date of birth and then you have to click on this checkbox and then finally proceed button okay moving on then you have to uh, click on agree for privacy notice when you click on proceed in the last step a pop-up will appear in front of you like this which will say privacy notice you need to click on agree and proceed okay so this agree button moving on application form and personal details uh, for the tcs enquiry registration process so after creating the account you will be redirected on this page which we will see next in the next slide and you need to enter further details now so after clicking on application form you have to submit four sections now going forward your personal detail academic detail subject nqt test details and application form submission and this is the most confusing section guys of tcs enquiry registration process for freshers so be very attentive while filling this section okay don't make mistakes basically so let's see the personal details which is first part so this is the easiest part to fill so all you need to do is fill your personal details correctly okay so like name details you have to fill here then your date of birth your gender your email id okay and then your institute name or college name your qualification your year of passing nearest test location where you can go and appear for the test okay 
then your educational qualification so select your institute name qualification and year of passing by clicking on the drop down bar and select the nearest test location of your choice okay once that is done so select the nearest tcs and click on submit so from this one okay as i was saying nearest tcs test office you can select year of passing you have to mention and then captcha you have to fill okay so all these dates uh, pop up will show with your details you have to click on confirm by verifying the details okay after clicking on the submit button it will ask to confirm the details entered by you if the entered details are correct you can proceed further okay now next step is note down your application id okay this is like this application id you will get your tcs nqt registration id in this process okay you have to click on this button then and then again it will ask for a captcha so you have to fill it and click on next okay enter the captcha next is your login via otp so enter the otp sent to your registration mobile address and click on login so here you have to fill in your otp and then login moving on so this this you will be redirected to this screen after logging okay so we have done the registration we have submitted our details and we have logged in back okay using the registration id next is your application window application window will appear and click on application form to start uh, filling your tcs nqt registration form next step is your continue filling your personal details fill all the required details in the personal details section once the details are filled you can proceed by clicking save and continue so see this type of screen will come you have to properly slowly slowly fill all your correct details don't uh, make any mistakes in you know spelling mistakes make sure that all the names and all whatever you are filling matches with your aadhar card and 10th mark sheets and all because you know the same data gets verified once you get the job okay so all of this is mandatory next is your academic and work experience detail in this section you will have to fill the information related to your education so the details like higher qualification details graduation details 12th graduate a uh, 12th grade or equivalent details 10th grade details if you have done any of the course then you can mention that and under any other qualification section but this is not mandatory as such if you want you can mention okay work experience details if any if you have done any sort of internship or something you can mention that also press save and continue after filling the details okay step third next step is your other details in this section you have to fill the details mentioned below like nationality language is known your achievements if you have any and last but not the least your cv and your photograph okay cv as in your resume okay and this is the screen basically you will fill all the details after filling all the details you have to click on this save and continue and then you can preview your application form so that whatever the details you have filled so far will be previewed to you okay so preview is the final section here you have to preview the application form by clicking on the application form button and fill the declaration part step next step is your apply for tcs recruitment drive click yes if you want to apply for the tcs recruitment drive so final step is your to click on yes button once this is done uh, then you will be redirected to this type of a screen where is uh, where you need to again fill details like nearest test center so preferred job location 1 2 and 3 so you have to mention all of that what will be your nearest test location where you can go and appear for the test and once you get the job what are your preferred locations for that okay once you fill this you can click on apply button then once this is done uh next step is you will get notified that you have successfully applied for the drive okay so uh, you will get one email over your email id that you have successfully applied for the tcs nqt examination okay once you successfully submit your registration form you will get the email as i as we have seen and then this is how your registration is completed and uh, when the examinations will start you will get email for the online assessment links and all okay so hope that the process is clear for you So that's all for today guys I hope you found the video helpful if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram and instagram as well you can ask your queries in the instagram dm as well and if you need any content you can request it on your on our telegram channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates i regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel so that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video